In the early 1990s, four brothers named after famous Italian painters took the world by storm. This product was originally created in 1984 by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. The product I'm talking about is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Today, we're here to talk about the latest in a line of figures from NECA. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Uses Super Shredder figure. And today, we're going to unbox it. My name is Super Billy N, and this is a bunch of nerds unboxed. So before we unbox the figure, let's set the mood and tell you all about Secret of the Use. The events of the movie take place a year after the first movie. Shredder has been defeated. Our boys are living with April O'Neil and Splinter in their New York City apartment. And the Foot Clan are in limbo. Now the movie opens up and we actually get to meet a researcher from TGRI, formerly known as TCRI in the first movie by the name of Jordan Perry. Now, Jordan Perry is an interesting character because he is the researcher who helped create the ooze that made Splinter, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello a thing. So, with that being said, we find out that an actual canister of ooze is missing. Because what might have happened? Anyway, let's unbox the figure, talk about it more. Now that we've gone through that montage of fast footage of me unboxing the figure, um, here it is. And I gotta say, as per usual NECA standard, this is a figure you want to buy. The the small touches that make this figure what it is, the the cloth cape, the the silver, the silver ink in that cloth cape, the the little details, the painted on. Um, detail in the muscle, the lighting, the even the ooze canister just looks perfect. Like everything about this figure, like you can even look through the eye holes of Shredder and see out the other side so the mask looks deeper. It looks like Super Shredder. Now mind you, do I know how literally his, his helmet grew when he showed up and then fell in with the ooze and got giant? No, I don't. I don't understand how metal grew from mutagen. But that's my understanding of mutagen is that, well, I don't know. Anyway, I'm really impressed with this figure. Uh, I hope you guys got your pre-orders in through NECAstore.com when the pre-orders a couple weeks ago happened. Uh, if you're watching this video at the time of release, it was uh, about two, three weeks ago that the pre-orders were in. Uh, we got ours in and got a couple here for a bunch of nerds. And I gotta say, I am, as per usual, just blown away by NECA and, and their attention to detail and what they do. There's a reason why NECA figures are so sought after by collectors and so loved by collectors. Because look at this figure, it is just, it is immaculate. It is perfect in every way. It represents the figure, every little detail about the movie, his weapons included, the dirt, even just a small thing, like the dirt on his hands. Like you can just see the small little details that make this, make this figure so so sought after and wanted and as per usual i'm just i'm so excited i'm sitting here gushing about this figure over and over again but there it is super shredder was available through necastore.com or necastoreonline.com make sure anytime neca does do a made to order pre-order that you do support it so that way we don't have to worry about running into situations like we did with cartoon wave figures where NECA gives us the opportunity to pre-order and they are trying to change things I'm looking forward to their next movie release which is Tolkien and Razor and that's going to be in November we will be unboxing Tolkien and Razor to show you more of those figures as well so thanks for tuning in please make sure to like this video and comment if you don't like it you know what to do and don't forget to subscribe to us here at a bunch of nerds I'm Super Billion thank you for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time